everything's ears. I've already cut myself. So I can't get out of the bed. I'm like a first aid. One down, two more to go. You told me you go on a sea, play the my major in the air. You never know until you've seen it on fire. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only had two of those like those cracker things. My last two of these. Club and cheddar. Club. Got myself on my finger yesterday right here. This one. I can't see it. This one. And I just caught myself here. I need to learn to not cut with the box cutter facing me. I don't know why I keep continuing to make this mistake. I've got my PL headband on. <laughs> PL aka profit and loss statements. Uh, if you do not know, I am a uh, S corporation, which means I don't pay taxes. <laughs> I don't really know how that works, but I heard like from the grapevine that I should do an S corporation for a handy woman business. So I did it and it's so far it has some benefits. But anyway, um, as far as bookkeeping, I do the bookkeeping and uh, filing taxes. I have an accountant because I did my S corp filing uh, for the first year, the 2019 wrong. So I was like, I, you know, I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to get in trouble with the IRS. I want to do everything correctly. So I got the accountant for 2020 and 2021. I haven't filed yet. She filed an extension because she got overloaded with work before my March 15th deadline. So S Corporation has to file March 15th, not April 15th. So anyway, um, but yeah, as far as bookkeeping, I do every single month. I keep all the receipts. Uh, if it's not a write-off, I do it as a distribution. Um, but yeah, I don't want to like give advice on that because I don't really know if I am categorizing everything correctly as far as keeping track of everything I am doing, every keeping track of everything. Um, plus, it's only me, so it's not too difficult to do so. But I take pictures of all my receipts. I take pictures of every single client and their info. Uh, like the task rabbit, um, like the detail sheet so I can keep track of their address and then I record how many miles I drove to that client as my mileage because that's also a write-off. Um, I my, client, my accountant suggested doing like Mile IQ, the app, but then I don't know why, but I like this constant notification and I was getting like, oh, did you finish your mileage or whatever? She like to be reminded that I need to like kind of clock out every single time the like the drive was done was just taking away from my time. Um, and also I didn't like that even when I wasn't working, it was always tracking my location. And I, I know my phone already tracked my location, but this additional app asking me if this was a mileage for business or not was just so annoying to me. So I, I just record, like I take a screenshot, like from my house to the client's house. And then I usually round it because I usually come home right after anyway. So yeah, is that enough talking about p and I'm not gonna show you how they look like because it's so boring. And also I have some private information, like I said, with like the client's address and all that kind of stuff recorded. So. Yeah, but I honestly, I dread the day that I have to do it. And this time, like, I always do it within like two to three weeks after the new month is started for the previous month. But now that I have to file sales tax, excise tax 
with the state of Washington by the 25th of the following month for the previous month, I am like extra on edge about getting it done now. But it's okay, it's not that difficult. I don't mind it, like this is my only opportunity to like do Excel type kind of stuff, which I miss sometimes doing because I used to do that for my desk job. So anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Yeah.